Hello. My name is Mel Wegman and my question for you today is, can we live in a perfect world when it comes to desserts, puddings, ice creams? Can we healthify everything that we're eating so that it's easier for us to be healthy? Not really, is the answer. Um, I'm going to take you through an example here, which is perfect world frozen dessert. This particular one is Belgian chocolate brownie. Um, as a new company, they also do carrot cake, um, pecan caramel, strawberry, and um, a banana walnut chip one too. Um, and this caught my eye on social media, I think as a new brand coming onto the market. And it is a no added sugar, dairy free, and wheat free recipe. So I'm aware that there is quite a high popularity of these sorts of products, that this is what people are looking for. Now in part, maybe that's because people have you know, undiagnosed, um, let's say, wheat allergies or dairy allergies. Um, and I know that a large number of people are, are walking around undiagnosed and may find benefit from consuming some of these products. Or is it, and probably more likely, that there is this misconception that products like this that are wheat-free and dairy-free um, that they're healthier for us, that they're better for us. And I have to say, again, no, not necessarily at all. Um, I see no reason whatsoever to be sourcing out and spending the money, this cost me £5.59 by the way, um, spending the money on what I think often marketed a high, high premium price for products that contain less goodness. Um, so unless you are on a... You know, you've been advised and diagnosed to follow a wheat-free, dairy-free, lactose-free diet. There isn't really any need for you to look out for these particular sorts of foods. If anything, they tend to have other ingredients, which mean that they're probably less healthy than the original sort of normal version. So let's have a little look what we've got here. So if we start with okay, um, the no added sugar element of it, okay. No added sugar, by the way, is very different to sugar-free. Sugar-free means there is no sugar in it. No added sugar means that there's sugar in it. There's gonna be some sugar in it. So it just means that we haven't got extra added in during the manufacturing process, but there will be sugars in the ingredients that make up this product, okay. So always check the label when you're looking at a product to check what the sugar content is, because I bet you it won't be zero. So on the ingredients, we've got water. That's the first ingredient. Then we've got sweeteners, okay? So sweeteners um, are included in products to help reduce the sugar content and help to reduce the calorific content. Um, and what they've got um, in here is xylitol and stevia, okay? Now xylitol is what you find in uh, toothpaste and chewing gums. And we know that xylitol can help sort of keep our mouth clean and combat acids that we consume in our everyday food and drinks. So xylitol can be great for tooth health. It's not great when we include it in high quantities, so much so that it's been banned from soft drinks. Um, and although this is a, a natural sweetener, like the stevia, which basically means it's, it's come from a plant, okay, it's not manufactured like an artificial sweetener, um, when it's incorporated into um, soft drinks, we consume more of it. Sweeteners can sort of cause little fluid shifts in the gut. And that means we can end up with bloating, we can end up with stomach pains, um, wind, and you may find yourself rushing off the loo a lot more often, okay? So excess consumption of sweeteners can cause diarrhea. Um, the other one is stevia, okay? That comes from uh, the chrysanthemum family, I believe. And, um, Sweeteners generally carry um, a lower calorific value, A, because they're generally hundreds of times sweeter than normal like white table sugar that we would, that we might use in the household. Um, and so we then have to use much less of them. Um, the other element is that we don't absorb sweeteners like we do sugar. So stevia, for example, only carries 30% of the calories compared to normal sugar. So we absorb less, um, and therefore the calorific impact is less. Now, sweeteners, good things, bad things. I'm a little bit sat on the fence. We know that sweeteners can help with weight loss. 
because they can be used as a substitute for normal sugars for people that are trying to cut down on their sugar con no, their sugar intake. But, and I'm speaking for experience here as someone who has a particularly sweet tooth, they don't really provide the same sort of sweet response in your mouth. Sometimes sweeteners can have a bit of a bitter taste and it doesn't really help me change my palate. So if I'm trying to sort of cut down on sugar, I really want to be helping myself move away from sweet foods to try and adjust my palate. And I don't think sweeteners really help with that. So they may or may not work for you. Okay, um, what else have we got in here? Um, so it's dairy free, okay? So what they've used in here is coconut milk, okay? So it's one of the reasons why this is a, a frozen dessert because it doesn't contain dairy or ice cream, okay? So, um, or cream, so we can't call it ice cream. So not sure whether they've sort of jumped on the bandwagon of coconut milk because of its sort of um, implied health benefits. There's been a lot of sensationalized headlines in the press about, you know, Coconut is the next best thing since sliced bread. It's like this magical elixir that's going to do so much for us. Um, not really, no. Um, if we look at the saturated fat content of coconut, it's still quite alarmingly high. So it's certainly not something I'd be advocating that we, we eat on a regular basis. Um, again, as you can tell, I've got a sweet tooth. Um, I love coconut. Um, you can't taste it, so if you're not a big fan of coconut, don't worry about tasting it in this particular product. But uh, And they've said openly that they don't use a lot of it. It's third on the ingredient list, um, and it may well be contributing to some of the fat content in this product. Um, so even though it's low sugar, it doesn't mean to say it's a very low, low calorie product because of the fat content that I'm going to come on to shortly. Um, so in terms of trying to give this product a rich sort of creamy mouthfeel, you know, the richness that we normally associate with, with dairy products, they've included a nut paste to give a healthier fat content to this product. And this is something I thought was really quite novel, um, quite a clever way of using nuts in products. So we've got almonds and cashew nuts in here. So those are um, obviously blitzed up and because those nuts contain natural fats, particularly polyunsaturated, um, the, the unsaturated fats that really we should be consuming more of. These are the healthy fats that help look after our heart, okay? Unsaturated, unsaturated fats, and get the words out, are far better for us than saturated fats. Saturated fats are what we find in butter, cakes, and biscuits, and so on, and normal desserts, um, often associated with, you know, with um with um, red meat and processed pies and so on as well. Um, saturated fat is what we associate with heart disease, okay? So I like that they've included some healthy fats in here. Um, when I tasted this, I think I sort of got, you do get a bit of a richness, but I think I got sort of the, the undertones, the back tones of the nuts in here. Didn't taste a particularly nutty ice cream, but I think the, the textures of it was something a little bit different to what I'd experienced before. Um, and I think with water being in as the first ingredient, there was a little bit of a sort of crystalline texture. So it's it's not maybe as close to ice cream as I would like it to be, but then again, it's not ice cream. So, um, so we've got the nut paste in there as a fat content. And when we look at the fat content, we've got here per 100 grams, so one serving is a fifth of this tub, a 500 ml tub, we've got 12 grams of fat, okay? So this is a, a moderate, fat product going up towards the higher end of moderates. Um, and it's got um, a good amount of um, monounsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats with a little bit of, well, 3.9 grams of saturated fat, which probably some of that will come from, from the coconut. So it's not necessarily, you know, it's not a low fat product. Um, it's not being marketed as a low fat product, but just bear in mind, everything else you think wheat free, dairy free, no added sugar must be great for you. Um, it may not help with your waistline if that's what you're really looking to chop out. Chop out. Um, what else have we got? So then we've got wheat free, okay? So although it's got Belgian chocolate brownie pieces in here, um, we haven't got wheat-based flour products in here to make the brownies. So I think they've used um, tapioca starch and chicory root. Um, and the chicory root is also giving added fiber to this particular product. Um, so fiber, we definitely need to be eating more of. 
um, in terms of, again, recommendations, us as adults need 30 grams of fiber a day. Um, and fiber certainly helps improve our sort of gut health and can help us feel fuller. Um, but one of the claims on the website for this particular product was, we need to increase more fiber, increase our fiber, so why not eat more ice cream? Ah, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. If you want to eat more fiber, eat more whole grains, um, eat more nuts in their natural form, um, don't go and pick an ice cream. Don't find excuses to eat more ice cream. Um, anyway, so yeah, there's a big, there's a big push for wheat-free, dairy-free diets, hugely popular, but there is, there is no particular health benefit of doing this. So don't feel that this is going to be the magic bullet. This means that you can have your desserts all the time as an occasional treat. And if this fits in with your schedule and you want to have this instead of, you know, completely falling off the wagon and having, you know, full blown double chocolate chip Belgium ice cream, then maybe that's for you but for me i just think i'd rather try and get in tune with my sort of body and and my appetite and just enjoy really enjoy some nice ice cream um in moderation in small amounts and leave it at that so i'll leave this in your court it's not the be all and end all um no it's not a really healthified version of ice cream although it's not saying it's ice cream um that's my opinion okay so food for thought um i'll let you see what you think that's it for me. Thank you. Bye.